question that is commonly asked is which is better Scrum or Kanban? I am not going to discuss that, but I'm going to make a clarification on it. And the other point, which is the important one, is a lot of people think that Kanban cannot be used, for example, in software development because it has no iterations. So we're going to, uh, to clarify that there's no need of uh, iterations to be able to work effectively. However, Kanban does offer a way in which we can handle something alike iterations, okay? So let's get started. So first off, um, it looks kind of fuzzy over there. I don't know why, but um, if you guys don't mind about the uh, image being a little fuzzy on the side, uh, I think we're okay, or maybe, no, I don't know. I just leave it like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to start talking a little bit about waterfall, and I think it's very important to set up a mindset. So there is this very strong belief in the agile industry, well, with the agile field, that um, waterfall is bad, you know, it's like evil, and, um, and I strongly disagree. Why do I disagree? Because the problem isn't really waterfall. The problem is that we really, most people don't know what waterfall is. So we think waterfall is something like this, right? So we have our big monolithic set of you know, requirements and design and all that stuff that we know. But that's not true. Actually, um, waterfall came from a paper that was written by Winston Joyce in 1970 as part of his uh, PhD research, which was sponsored by the DOD in the US, the Department of Defense in the, D in the uh, US. And what is really interesting is that this is not waterfall. Nowhere did Winston Roy say this is waterfall. This is actually one of the introductory diagrams in his paper. And actually this paper is very easy to find nowadays on the internet. So you just Google it and download it, it's a PDF, and this is not waterfall. So here's where the surprises begin, okay? So taking that into account, we all know that the most popular agile methodology is a scrum and we like it because it's actually cute you know it's nice you have like this very nice looking structure with these loops and you know it's just kind of cute it has like a nice balance it could be probably a piece of art on a wall or something like that there are two reasons why it is 